This is right out of Wikipedia, so the world's authority on this. Uh, but it's a standard method of uh, training. Um, you have to align the front and the back sights, all right, toward the target. So here's the target here. And this is a quote right from this example. It's very similar with many, many areas of shooting. A sight picture is what you create with focus on the front sight and out of focus target and also out of focus back sight. Or people can change that order, right? The important thing here is that the target's not in focus. So in an officer involved shooting, the target's off, it's shooting at you and it's moving. So just keep that in mind in terms of uh, the next point. Um, I will, this is not a new result. Um, when you put eye trackers on Olympic champions in biathlon, which we've done, if you look, this is the uh, Hubert Repol actually published this first out of France, where he compared the Olympic team, these are the pistol shooters with a national level, found that if you're an, an elite officer, you don't use that, or an elite uh, athlete, you don't use that sight picture. Uh, you never lose track of the target, ever. And you establish a line of gaze, and then you bring the pistol to agree with that at all times. Whereas if you're at the lower level, You'll look down, set up the, the uh, alignment, and then bring the pistol up to the target. So it's a very different uh, use of the gaze. Uh, but anyway, back to our study. We have 24 officers in total, 11 of them were on this emergency response team. And the rookies had just completed that, and there were 11 of those as well, seven males and six females. And, uh, 39 years of age, they keep them in their tax squads. They don't want to keep them out on the island and uh, uh, somewhat younger for the rookies. Uh, this is the scenario. It's actually a true story. A guy from the United States went to Ireland, got himself in trouble, got thrown in jail, and had his passport taken away. And he was really upset. He needed to go home and he couldn't get it back. Right? And so uh, Bill created this scenario simulated live scenario. I, it was an education for me. It took us two weeks to, to put this data. And I'd never done stuff like this before. And there were three people involved. The assailant had been in jail and he's going to go, he's going to the customs official. He's confronting that person. He's angry. He wants his passport back. He wants to get out of the country. There's an officer on duty and this officer has been told that um, and the officers are wearing the eye tracker here, that something's going to happen. There's going to be an incident, but he wasn't told at all. He or she wasn't told what it was like. Um, in the scenario, and I'll show it to you in a second, he loses it. Right? Suddenly, he just loses his temper. He draws either a gun or a cell phone to the eye manipulation. Takes a step, does a reverse pivot, turns around, fires simulation, uh, and fires at the officer. And the officer has to deal with it. From a distance of five meters or 15 to 60 feet. He did seven trials per officer, right? five gun trials, and then two cell phone trials. And those cell phone trials were randomly uh, positioned within trials two to seven. So here's the data here. Now you're used to this. Here's our officer here. All right. This is one of the tactical officers. Uh, the bad guy's going to come out of here, the assailant. Uh, this is the customs official. Uh, this is the recording from the eye tracker that's being worn here. So I'll just play it. This is the uh, gaze cursor. This is a newer uh, mobile eye gaze cursor. And you can see how the officer's mind's working. He's trying to determine what is going to happen here. Where is there a weapon? Where is it? Where 
where's it going to come from? Um, I don't have the audio on it. It's pretty rich audio, uh, which we don't need to hear. <laughs> I'm going to stop it at the moment when it happens. These are timed exactly, okay, these two videos here are. We do that later in the editing suite. two videos as these events unfold. And you're going to see he's going to slap the table and he's just going to lose it again. And then, there we go. Okay, I'll just play it. But by the way, each of these frames is 33 and a third milliseconds. That's the first rate. So where's it going to come from? Right or left? Officer? Which, which is going to be right hand? How many say the right hand? How many say the left hand? Okay, we'll soon find out. He blinked, that's why that disappeared. I'm playing this. You can you can see the frames going by here, through them here. Now the uh, the person who played the assailant never ever saw this video. Uh, we had to keep it away from it the first two weeks, but this was the big cue. You know, his hand would reach into his belt and his, his elbow would come up. And, and it's really interesting what this officer does. You notice here, watch. We know where it's coming from. And now watch this is watch the sake here over right to here. Those are his early anticipations. And now he knows he's got a problem. Okay. And, and if you watch here, you can see the muzzle flash come out of the gun. So we had audio recording too, so we know the, the sequence of these shots. Okay, so that was my interesting two weeks. Just quickly, the elite shooter, 75% accuracy, all right, 54% for the rookies, chance, but the big result was this one right here on the cell phone trial. 18.18% of the uh, elite officers made a mistake, the 211 officers, but for the rookies, it was 61, 62%. They shot him when he had the cell phone in his hand. So it, it, it was a big result. And the big part of it, and I'll just go over it right now, is that this is um, this 83% of the rookies at the very moment that should have been paying attention to what the assailant was doing, was making a sake back to the site when they got So they're doing exactly what they were trained. Getting themselves involved in the public. And litigation costs on this sort of thing right now in the United States in particular are in the billions of dollars because of these types of actions. The big result that uh, is having quite an effect. Anyway, I'll go through all this neat stuff about the brain at another time. All right. Good. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>